Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Molly McDonald and I'm a water process technologist for Niagara Region and welcome to Tap Into It. Just as a reminder, if there are any questions, please forward them to waterfestival at niagararegion.ca and we can answer them at the end of the, today's presentation. I hope you are all doing well and staying safe. Today we are going to learn about the differences between tap water and bottled water. I'm sure we are all familiar with single-use disposable plastic water bottles, the ones we often see in stores. But why do people buy plastic water bottles? People may buy plastic water bottles for their convenience and how easy they are to grab and go. Others may buy plastic water bottles because they like the taste of bottled water better than tap water. Remember, if you don't like the taste of tap water, you can always use a Brita filter, which you can fill with tap water and leave in the fridge so you have nice cold water ready when you need it. Now, why do you think people choose to drink tap water instead of bottled water? And what are the benefits of drinking tap water? People may choose to drink tap water instead of bottled water because it costs less. It is better for the environment. It comes right from the tap. And most importantly, it is safe for us to drink as it is tested multiple times a day. There are certainly benefits to each way we might access our drinking water. Next, I'm going to demonstrate the pros and cons of tap water and bottled water, some of which you may not have considered before. So let's take a look at these two bins here. Here, I have a bin which represents tap water, nice and full of these blue balls. The blue balls in this demonstration represent drinking water. Beside my tap water bin, I have our, my bottled water bin. Here we can see our blue balls that represent drinking water, but also many different colored balls as well. These colors here represent the factors associated with bottled water. We need to remove the factors associated with bottled water, so we're left with our drinking water. So let's start with our single-use plastic bottle bin. Just look at how colorful it is. But wait a minute, I have to take out all the yellow balls if we want to be left with our drinking water. These yellow balls here represent the cost associated with bottled water. So I'm gonna take them out and put them in our recycling bin. It can cost between 25 cents to $5 for a liter of bottled water, whereas tap water costs us a 10th of a cent per liter. To put this into perspective, here at Niagara Region, we have the water wagon which visits all different events in Niagara free of charge and provides nice, cold, safe drinking water to its guests. The water wagon can hold 3,400 liters of drinking water and costs only about $5 to fill the water wagon with tap water. If we were to fill up the water wagon with 3,400 liters of bottled water, it would cost approximately $7,000. So there is a significant cost associated with bottled water which is why we removed our yellow balls here. But I don't think we've gotten to just our drinking water yet. So we have to remove our green balls. These green balls represent the many water bottles that don't make it into the recycling bin. So let's remove our green balls here. One, two, three, four, five. Approximately 65 to 75% of plastic bottles are recycled in Ontario homes while the rest end up in a landfill or as litter. When you drink tap water using a reusable water bottle, you help to reduce waste because you are using it over and over again, refilling it with tap water. I don't think we're left with drinking water just yet. I see two more colors here. So let's remove all the red balls. The red balls have to be removed because they are simply tap water. Let's remove the red balls. It is possible for bottled water to be produced from municipal tap water that has undergone a treatment process to lower the mineral content or remove chemicals such as chlorine. Bottled water may also use the same source water as our tap water. For example, there is a plastic water bottling plant in Guelph. At this plant, they use local groundwater aquifers, which are the same sources used for the municipal tap water. The same water that we pay pennies for out of the tap becomes much more expensive when bottled and sold in stores. 
Now let's see what's left. I see two pink balls. These pink balls represent the expiry dates that are placed on bottled water. So let's put those in a recycling bin. Now those, um, the expiry dates are placed on plastic water bottles because they are labeled as a food item. They usually last a few years and most people don't realize that bottled water even has an expiry date. Tap water doesn't have an expiry date as it is always fresh from the tap. Now let's take a look at our two bins here. Um, looks like our tap water bin is nice and full of clean, fresh, safe drinking water. And our bottled water bin has barely any drinking water once all the negative factors we just discussed are removed. In Niagara, our drinking water is tested several times a day. My cat wants to play. Several times a day to ensure the quality meets strict provincial laws. The results of this testing is made available to the public on Niagara Region's website. The water treatment plants are operated by licensed and highly trained operators who work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to ensure we enjoy clean and safe drinking water. Next time you go to grab a single use plastic water bottle, think about all the things we discussed here today and reach for your reusable water bottle instead and fill up at the tap. I will now be taking any questions from our audience here today. So we have a question from William, is bottled water unhealthier? No, bottled water is not unhealthier. It is just as safe and clean as tap water. It just has many other factors that come along with it, such as waste and cost and um, the expiry date, the things that we just mentioned here. We have a question from Miss Worrell's grade three class. Hi, grade threes. Why does bottled water taste different between different companies? That's a really good question. Uh, it's water, shouldn't it all taste the same? You're absolutely right. But bottled water does taste different than tap water because bottled water goes through a different treatment process. There's also different minerals found within the, these types of water. We have a question from Ali. Hi, Ali. My question is, how long does it take for a plastic bottle to naturally decompose, like if it ends up in the ocean or in a landfill? I do not have the exact answer for you, but based on my knowledge, I would say a very long time. Question from Ms. Van Lierop's Schumann's class. Is it safe to drink water from the hose outside? It is safe to drink water from the hose outside, but often your hose outside has a very long, long loop. So you would wanna let it run for about five minutes. Oh, we have an answer for the plastic water bottle decomposition, about 500 to 800 years in nature, and it's even longer in a landfill. So we wanna make sure that we get our water bottle <laughs> into the recycling bin. We have a question from Kelly. What is your cat's name? The cat you saw was Smudge, my black cat. <laughs> Do we have any other questions? That was from Mrs. Reynolds' class. Is chlorine in tap water safe? That is a very good question. Chlorine in tap water is extremely safe. We use chlorine as a disinfectant. So if there's anything bad in our water, we treat that with chlorine and the chlorine makes sure that we are safe and on our side to drink that water because it, it disinfects any of the, um, any bad bugs in our water. How long does it take to clean tap water? That's also a very good question. I don't know the exact answer to that, but uh, our water treatment plants, we have six of them and they are constantly making water for all the municipalities in Niagara. Oh, that's a good question from Miss Worrell's class. If plastic water bottles are so bad, why are they still being made for sale? That's a great question. So I often think about this as well, but there are many situations where you don't think about uh, like natural disasters. So if we um, needed emergency water, if there was a hurricane or um, 
an earthquake or something like that where our water from our water treatment plants was disrupted, then we would want to have these water bottles as um, backup because, of course, we need our water to live. Um, it's always good to keep additional bottled water in your home in case of an emergency like this. From Mrs. Rose's class, can you explain how the tap water is treated to be safe for us to drink? That's a great question. There is, uh, we are under many regulations uh, that we are inspected all the time to make sure we are following the rules that we must, um, we must check our water in the lab and we send them, send our water samples away. We have labs in house, um, but water is regulated by the appropriate province or territory. So here we're regulated by Ontario government. Um, can you explain how the tap water is treated to be safe for us to drink? Yeah. Um, we have those regulations that we need to follow, but also the process that which our water is treated. It goes through filters and um, it also gets treated by chlorine. And in some of our plants, it also gets um, UV disinfection, which is very bright light which disinfects our water as well. So it's um, to make sure it's nice and clean for us. Do we have any other questions? Oh, we have a question from Miss Gabriel's class. Why does the tap water smell sometimes? So depending on what you're smelling, you could smell sometimes um, like a leafy smell and that could just mean that our source water has changed. So we pull water in from our plants sometimes through reservoirs or the lake. I'm in Crystal Beach, so I get my drinking water from Lake Ontario from our Fort Erie water treatment plant. And sometimes in the fall or in the spring, when the temperature of the water changes, that can kind of wake up some sleeping material and particles in the water that goes through the treatment process and can make our tap water smell sometimes. But it is that doesn't mean it's unsafe to drink. Is uh, oh, we have a question from Mrs. Brown's class. Is bottled water regulated differently than tap water? Yes, bottled water is regulated federally as a food, whereas tap water is distributed by municipalities and it's regulated by the appropriate province or territory. All right, folks, so it was great having you here today. Um, if you have any additional questions, please forward them along to that email, waterfestival at niagararegion.ca. I would love to answer them for you um, and enjoy the rest of this sunny Friday. Thanks. <laughs>